So the album is called I Call You and I've started recording the new songs um, in a pretty meditative way every day in our home studio in Zurich um, together with my drummer and co-producer Claudio Strübi. My last EP Rabbit was a solo production so I've written all the songs, I've recorded them on my own, I've even mixed it it was a nice experience because it was kind of a reconnection like to myself and to my inner music. But from there, the need grew to meet other musicians, to exchange and to yeah, enrich my compositions with other musicians. And so out of this need, my new album started. In the last years I had the chance to work with some fantastic musicians and get to know them and so I just called each of them and asked um, do you want to be part of this record and luckily everyone was in and this is how this album band came together. I didn't have a band sound in my mind in the beginning but I definitely had um, just a wish to play with musicians that I admire. The whole band grew as well pretty organically. So there were um, horns, for example, Niels Vogram, a great trombone player, or Andreas Chop, another great trombone player. Then James Bindali, a trumpetist. Um, Moki on the bass. Then we had David Zink, a singer in Nice. Yeah, so I worked with just with friends, let's say, and, and also musicians that I really admire. Look at the sun, how she burns for you. She burns for you anyway. I think for me as a drummer, it was uh, really interesting to find my place between her voice and her guitar somehow, or maybe even underneath that all to build uh, a solid ground for her so that she can feel comfortable. Because I think when you play alone with guitar and voice that has a, already a, a richness that sometimes shouldn't be touched probably. It's enough, but now um, for me it was interesting to bring the drums to the music and um, um, to, to add another color. I think for writing I have to listen to myself, I have to um, open up, of course, and to let emotions happen. When I'm in a state where I'm connected to myself and I really take these moods and states seriously, yeah, then I'm kind of in a flow and I translate what's inside into music and let it go out like that. I look for something that moves, something that develops, something that flows in music. I think music is beautiful but also not the easiest material, let's say, to do that because music is something, it's in the air, it's vibration, it's, um, it's nothing that you can hold tight. So, but also music is a, is a beautiful transport vehicle for, for this, and for emotions. And I think in the end, I look for that, for communication and connection and encounters with other people through music and through the experience of songs um, where the audience and I, where we can meet in a song.